Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And in this video, we are going to be taking a break from the mind-numbing, soul-crushing endeavor that is the World Tournament Grind and do some ticket summons. We're going to be summoning for the three brand new Dragon Ball Saga units that just dropped on Global. The um, uh, Cyborg Tau, the uh, STR Android 8, as well as the brand new SR uh, Ox King. So without further ado guys, let's jump over to the banner here and see what we can get. Now you'll see in a second that I actually saved up quite a few tickets uh, from the last world tournament as well. And we have 88 silver tickets, 29 gold tickets, of course all singles as always. I'm not really sure why we can't do multis on this banner, but that's just how Bandai designed it, so it is what it is, and uh, hopefully all this time we spend here doing singles will be worth it, because you know what, I'm calling it right now, we're going to pull at least one copy of the Tau, the Ox King, as well as the Android 8, and uh, that's just how it's going to be. Now, before we jump into the summons guys, I want to give a huge shout out real quick to my good friends over at Ultra Dokkan Discount. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. And for anybody that doesn't know, Ultra Dokkan Discount actually happens to be the largest online store for stacked Dokkan accounts for both Global and JP, for both Android and iOS. And if you guys are looking for a new account to potentially start fresh or maybe just a side account to play with, Ultra Dokkan Discount is the place to go. You can find their store in my description down below and their prices are all super, super reasonable. But also, they recently debuted a new search function, which you can also find in the description, where you can search for the exact account you're looking for based on maybe which LRs you want, or how many LRs you want, or how many stones you want. And uh, as always, if you find something you like, you can use my discount code, TIGER, for 20% off your entire purchase. So uh, yeah, guys, definitely go check it out. They're awesome, awesome people. Great service as well. And uh, yeah, thank you to Ultra Dokkan Discount for sponsoring this video. But without further ado, guys, let's get these summons started and uh, see what happens, man. I don't know, with my recent summons, I don't really expect anything at this point, but at the very least, this is not with stones, right? So even if we do get shafted, like we have been uh, in the recent past, it's not gonna hurt nearly as much as if I had spent like $500 or $1,000. Now I'm not gonna give you guys any specific figures about how much I spent on the 300 million download celebration as a whole, but uh, it's been, let's just say it's been bad. It, it's made a very sit significant dent. What was that word I just said? Significant dent in my uh, wallet, in my bank account, and I really don't have much to show for it, which is a big reason why I've been so salty these days, man. I mean, I try to be positive. You guys know I'm used to the shaft, right? I'm used to getting shafted in general. Oh, uh, we're getting an SSR. Oh, it's the Goro Tien. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not something that's super unfamiliar to me. It's just I've never experienced it to this insane of a degree. Oh, we're getting another SSR. Perfect. Okay, this is going well. This is going well, guys. Um, so yeah, it's been rough, and these past couple weeks, this past month, as I said in a video where I talked specifically about this, oh dude, we're getting the Tao. That's dope. Okay, we already got the Tao. He's actually extremely good, guys. He's actually extremely, extremely good. As you can see, attack and defense plus 100% uh, when performing a super attack, and attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 80% for a, like, you know, ticket summon unit, that's actually very, very good. So I'm gonna lock him up real quick. Um, but as I said, I actually lost my train of thought now. I'm not 100% sure what I was talking about. Uh, but it's been bad. It's been, it's been really, really bad. And all I can say is um, I'm gonna be taking a break from summoning for a little while. I'm obviously not gonna be going back in to the LR Gohan banner or the uh, LR Androids banner. I just need some time to recover to heal after I mean this celebration is gonna leave me with scars <laughs> With with gotcha scars that are never gonna fully go away. Oh, is this gonna be a fusion? Can we get fusions here? I don't think so. Oh, we can't. Okay. But for a second I was like we got we got Boo and Vegeta and I know some people have said that if Trunks is there as well, then it's a fusion, but I don't think we can get fusions on this banner, so I was a bit confused for a second. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, 
let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the World Tournament, actually. Let's talk about the World Tournament. Uh, I know some people might ask in the comments of, of this video, Yo, Tiger, how come you haven't streamed this tournament yet? Because I always do, right? It's, it's kind of a thing I do. Like, every tournament, I, I've had streams where I did, like, World Tournament for eight hours straight or something like that, right? So, uh, it's kind of a, hey, there we go. We got our Ox King. That's awesome. Now we just need... Now we just need nine more to get into Super Attack 10. Obviously, he can't um, he can't invest orbs into him because he he is an SR, so he can only awaken to SSR, and he doesn't have hidden potential. But uh, nonetheless, it'd be nice to get into SA10. I'm obviously not gonna use Kai's on him, but look at this guy, man. Defense plus 150%, DB Saga category allies keep plus two, and attack and defense plus 30%. That is extremely extremely good. Obviously. His links are a little bit lacking, and uh, his stats definitely, you know, leave something to be desired. But I mean, he's an SR unit, man. That is very, very impressive for SR. So all we're missing now is the Android 8. But going back to what I was saying, people might be asking, "Yo, Tiger, how come you haven't streamed the World Tournament yet?" Because that's that's what you always do, man. That's your thing. You stream the World Tournament, and I gotta say, guys. I just haven't been feeling it. As I said in the beginning of this video, World Tournament sucks. It sucked for a long time now. Just. I mean, the rewards are awesome. Trust me, the rewards are great. I do it for the rewards. I'm still grinding off camera a little bit. I, I'm at like 15 million, 20 million points, something like that. But every time I thought about streaming it, I just didn't feel like it. I was like, maybe I should do a stream for World Tournament. I know people are expecting it. But then I open up my you know, YouTube studio thing and I go to change the title to like a World Tournament thing. And I just, I just can't get myself to do it, man. I really can't. It's just... I don't know, something about, maybe it's just been too much for too long, you know, there's like too much boredom. <laughs> it, it, it's really boring, guys, I, I, I gotta say, even, even as a content creator, as someone that, you know, does this for, not necessarily a living, but like, I, I do this, right, like I'm making like regular videos every day and stuff, it, like it's just, it's just hard to get myself to do something that I find so boring that I really honestly don't enjoy at all the world tournament grind it's really really not enjoyable I can't even lie to you guys I'm not even, I'm not even gonna front like I just don't like it right so uh, that's why no world tournament stream up to this point uh, I'm probably gonna make a video fairly soon maybe right after the tournament ends just talking about like why the tournament sucks so much and what band I can potentially do to actually improve it and make it more enjoyable for people um, but yeah I mean I might still do a stream tomorrow if you guys are looking forward to that. I, no promises though, I, I really can't say one way or the other whether or not I can actually get myself to do it. Uh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, don't be surprised because... Yeah, it's, it's been rough. It's been rough as far as the World Tournament goes. I mean, summons too. Everything about this game has just been rough. This guy actually is a very good SR2, guys. Uh, defense was 100% at the start of the turn, key plus 2 and attack plus 40% when facing 2 or more enemies. Like these days, these SRs are actually getting extremely good, man. And that's actually a really good sign. That's a really, really good sign for the game. Because think about it from the perspective of a newer player who can't really pull a lot of the top tier SSR units in the game to start. Even with some of these SRs, they can actually build a pretty... I mean, decent team, I guess. I mean, you probably don't want to build an entire team of these SRs, but having like a few as filler um, would actually be okay, right, for the earlier events and stuff. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. I really dig it. I, I appreciate Bandai for doing that. Um, and also with the, the free to play units, too, man. Let me think about all these free to play units we're getting these days uh, the physical uh, second form Frieza, the STR Gogeta. Uh, what else is there? The. Uh, Goku and Frieza, no not Goku and Frieza, what am I talking about? Goku and Gohan, got an SSR, he's not really useful for me though, I think he's, I'm pretty sure he's duped out, but uh, yeah, the Goku and Gohan, the Vegeta and Trunks, um, yeah, it's just been really, really good for free to play too, so Banna has definitely been doing a great job there, uh, obviously I still have issues with them, I'm always going to, uh, but Hey man, I gotta give credit where credit is due, I gotta, give, I gotta give them props when they deserve it, and they definitely deserve props when it comes to the free-to-play units, as well as now these like really good SRs, like the Ox King and stuff like that, right? I, I hope this becomes, or continues to be a trend. Um, as far as like great SRs in this game I can think of, there's the physical GT Trunks we got for the 4 year anniversary, who is a very good support as well. Um, who else is there? There's the... Uh, what's that guy's name? Hoy? Yeah, Hoy is a very good extreme support as well. He's also an SR. Um, 
And there's quite a few good ones, actually. There's quite a few good ones in this game, so... Yeah, good job to Bandai for that. Good job to Bandai for that. But, while I'm saying that... <laughs> let me just be clear, alright? I... I'm not, I'm not a Bandai spy. Right, I'm not a Bandai spy. I'm not trying to make you guys like Bandai. It's just sometimes I feel like we hate on the developer. Oh, they're actually not even the developer, are they? They're the publisher. It's Akatsuki that actually develops this game. But either way, uh, people hate on the developer for this game a lot, right? And uh, sometimes it's nice to change it up, be a little bit positive, which I'm trying to... I mean... Okay, let's be real. Uh, things have not been very positive with this game for me recently, but I'm still trying to be as positive as possible, uh, given the circumstances. And it's been it's been tough to do that, but... You know, this video took a weird turn. This video took a very, very weird turn. Let's go back to talking about some other stuff now, guys. <laughs> like, where the hell is my Android 8, man. We got the, we got the, what, what was it? We got the new Cyborg Tau very quickly. We got the new SR uh, Ox King very quickly. But where is my, where, where is my Android 8, man? He's actually probably the second unit I want the most. I wanted the X Ox King the most and I got him. And then the second guy I want is the Android 8, man. That Aider, uh, that guy definitely deserved more respect prior to this card being released. And I'm glad they gave him the respect he deserved. I wouldn't mind more Dragon Ball units in this game, honestly, because I actually love Dragon Ball, man. I recently bought the entire box set for the original Dragon Ball manga, and I've been reading through it. I'm on, like, volume 10 out of 16, and it is really freaking good. If you guys haven't checked out Dragon Ball, the original, I know a lot of people out there only started from Z, and uh, then from Z, watch Super and maybe GT or something like that, but a lot of people out there, man, never watched the original or read the original Dragon Ball or maybe they saw like snippets here and there they like know a few of the characters and stuff like that but they never like saw it all the way through and if you guys haven't yo do yourself a freaking favor and and watch man wa watch the original series because it is really freaking good and you also learn about the origins of a lot of these characters that are commonplace now in the franchise but I mean, prior to reading the manga, I actually didn't know where some of these people originated from or uh, how they originally like came into contact with Goku and all that stuff. And you learn all of that when you watch, you know, or read the uh, original Dragon Ball. And it's actually also very different. Uh, it's actually a very different take or a very different style, in my opinion, from Z. Uh, where in Z, it's really about like the crazy transformations, the cool fights and, you know, crazy explosions and all that stuff. When it comes to the original Dragon Ball, it's actually more about story. Like, I feel like there's a lot more of a story focus, and um, it's also a lot more like comedic, I think. It's a lot more of like a gag manga style to it, which actually makes sense for the creator, because the creator originally uh, started, like Toriyama, before he made Dragon Ball, he made, uh, I think he got famous through Dr. Slump, right? And that was like kind of a gag, like, you know, more comedic manga, so that kind of makes sense. Oh my god, yo, <laughs> how are we getting this kid twice as our last two SSRs? Okay, that's fine. We still have 22 tickets, guys. Still 22 more chances to pull Android 8 and do the clean sweep here. But, man, I don't want that kid Goku anymore. I did not want that kid Goku anymore. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. I, I can't wait to... I'm probably... Yo, probably after this video, I'm just going to be reading more Dragon Ball, man, because... I really don't want to be grinding the world tournament. I mean, I might still do it a little bit just for the missions and stuff. You know, I'm going to wait until reset. I'm going to wait until 8 o'clock, until reset, and then do my 5 wins for the, you know, the stones and all that stuff. But I think the most I'm going to do for this tournament, realistically, is 30 million points. I'm probably not going to go a single... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's our first dupe right there. So that is a SA2 Ox King we have at the moment. Um, but yeah, guys, like, I, I just can't get myself to grind anything past 30 million points, man. Like, every single second that I spend in World Tournament is, is painful. It's just painfully boring. Like, I'm bored to tears. And it might be a little bit better, actually. So, so there's a good chance I might, I might actually stream tomorrow because, at the very least, when I grind World Tournament with you guys live, I can talk to you guys and you guys keep it a little bit more entertaining, right? But I'm by myself, man, there's just... It's just, it's just mind-numbing, man. I, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's, it's mind-numbing, it's soul-crushing, Bandai needs to do something about this mode. And the sad thing is, when I first started this game, it was actually very exciting, you know what I mean? Like, 
because I never did something like that before, I was like, yo, this is actually fun, man, grinding the points and all that stuff. And this was back before I even had like an STR Broly, so I was doing it like, you know, manually, like like killing each enemy at one at a time, right? Instead of just killing everyone, clearing the board with the attack all units. And I honestly can say I had more fun back then. Um, but but I mean, it, it, it's just it's it, this thing has gone on for so long. Like it's gone on for way too long without any changes. Like 30 world tournaments, even more than that on JP. You're gonna go. 30 plus months or probably more than that because I feel like it's not every single month we have a world tournament Sometimes it's like every other month or something like that, right? So yeah <laughs> like 30 plus months, maybe 40 months or whatever Like however long it's been since the world tournament started you go that long without changing up the tournament at all I mean, I'm sure there were like minor tweaks here and there over the course of the tournament, but that the, the core mechanics but the, the base mechanics of this mode have never really changed and uh, yeah, as far as like I remember, I, I didn't start playing the game from the very beginning. Let me just be clear about that. All right, I started playing this game about two and a half, uh, maybe a little bit more, a little bit over two and a half years ago. So maybe uh, there were some major changes in the early days that I didn't know about or I don't know about. But just as far as my experience goes, man, they haven't made any changes, and dude, like they need to. They really need to. I'm sure you guys can agree. I'm sure you guys can attest to this as well. Um, if you're one of those people that enjoy World Tournament, that's cool, man. If you if you actually really like the grind, yo, more power to you, man. I'm, I'm jealous of you, honestly, that you can enjoy this still. But yeah, for other people out there like me, man, we, we need to start a petition or something, like a change.org <laughs> online petition. Get yeah, like uh, 10,000 people to sign it so Bandai will actually pay attention. But honestly, I don't know if that would even work, so... I mean, I'm not, I'm not really serious about it. Don't, don't do that. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth your effort. But yeah, uh, hopefully, you know, Bandai will decide eventually or Akatsuki to make some positive changes. Um, I, I, I mean, off the top of my head, I haven't really thought about it that much recently. World Tournament generally is not something that I think about too much. But maybe introducing some kind of actual co-op uh, perspective, or not perspective, uh, co-op... Uh, component to it rather would be pretty nice like for example if I'm streaming you know it live I can like maybe create a room a lobby of some kind just like they do in a lot of other games with co-op and uh, we can take on enemies together or something like that that'd be a lot of fun just like doing actual cooperative collaborative like fights and stuff like that man I don't know exactly how it'll work I haven't really fleshed out the idea in my mind yet I have to think about it more before I make that video about you know suggestions for how they can improve world tournament but uh, just me sitting here right now, man, with like, with my thoughts. I mean, I'm just talking to myself right now, but I I'm imagining you guys are listening on the other side of this camera. Um, yeah, I think some kind of co-op mode would be really cool and will make it really a lot more interesting, at least for content creation uh, from that perspective, right? Like, for me personally, if I'm like, you know, streaming and actually playing with you guys live, that would make it so much more interesting and actually make me want to stream World Tournament a lot more. Actually, I'd be streaming this right now if it, if it wasn't for the fact that I just don't want to give you guys the hope that I'm going to be grinding World Tournament later too, which uh, I really don't plan to. I'm going to, like I said, wait until 8 o'clock, which is in like 4 hours, and uh, you know, do it at that time. Just like do my 5 wins, get it over with, and then tomorrow do another 5 wins, and uh, that will pretty much put me at... 30 million points, and I'm good to go, man. I don't really care too much about the Gotenks either, if I'm being honest. Oh, what's this? Another Kid Goku. This is a different one, at least. This is a different one. But that is three Kid Gokus in a row, isn't it? <laughs> man, only eight more chances. Eight more chances for Android 8. I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna happen. Yo, we got this, we got this, yo. We gotta, gotta be positive, man. Gotta be positive. These days, like, positivity is a hard commodity to come by. But uh, I still got a little bit of it. I still I still got a little bit of positivity right in here, and uh, I gotta hold on to that, man. Cause if I don't, <laughs> I mean, if I didn't hold on to that, I would have quit this game a long time ago, man. Let's be real. There's so many people that got like major shafted, and when I say major, it really is relative, right? Cause for some people, a 500 stone shaft or a 200 stone shaft is huge. Uh, because they just, they just don't have access to that many stones. Whereas for me, like, if I if I get shafted with like a thousand stones, I'm like, okay, that's pretty bad. If I get shafted with 1500 stones, yeah, that's that's worse. If I get shafted with 2000 stones, yeah, that's really bad. 
And then you look at what happened to me for the 300 million down celebration, where I didn't pull LR Gohan or the androids in 6,000 stones. Probably more, actually. I don't know the exact number, but it's at least 6,000 stones. So, um, yeah, I mean, if that's not going to get someone to quit Dokkan, yo, they got to really love Dokkan, and... I really love Dokkan, man. I really love making these videos for you guys. That's why I'm not quitting. Uh, I did think about it though. It was definitely an idea <laughs> that that crossed through my mind. That like that flashed through. I'm like, yo, why don't I just stop playing this game, man? Just, just put it into all this misery. But I can't do it. I really can't do it. Like, I, I could say I'm quitting and then I'll like stop playing for maybe a day and a half or two days and then I'll, I'll just be right back, man. I'm like an addict in that way. And it's not a good thing, of course. Not a good thing. Yo, we keep getting Vegeta, but like I know we can't fuse. There's no LRs, there's no Dokkan Fest units on this banner. They just he's just being a tease as always. But at least on this banner, I know he's a tease, right? There's no hope. There's no Oh look at that. Okay, our third Ox King right there. I'll take it. Alright, SA3 Ox King guys, SA10 coming soon. Maybe I'll use like sleepy cause on him or something. I don't know. Um Man, still no Android 8 yet though. Three more three more tickets. Yo, we're in the we're in the endgame now. We're definitely in the end game now. Uh, it's the, the fourth quarter, you know, 10 seconds left. Gotta hit this game winner. We got two more, two more shots. Two more shots. Hit this game winner. Let's get it. We got launch here. Yo, do we have a rig? Is there like a good launch in this game? I don't think so. I think the only launches in this game are the, the like evil blonde launches, which I don't mind. You guys know, yo, I, I don't mind blondes at all, but, um, <laughs> I like the other, the other launch a lot too. Uh, wait, does the new launch transform on JP? I don't remember. The one with the the, the double rates banner? Like, does she... No, uh, the, the, when you pull her, she starts off as a... Um, in, in, like, the evil form, right? Or in the bad form, so... Does she ever, in her animations, become the good launch? Or, like, is, it, is she, like, the good launch, and in the animation, like, she... I don't really know. I don't really know. But, yeah. Just a random thought there. Yo, it, 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 stop stop flying in, Vegeta. I know you're not going to fuse. Like, I know it's not going to happen. Like, why, why are you teasing me like that? All right, last ticket, guys. Last ticket, and we are ending off with the Bacteria. And you know what? Let's do some guaranteed SSR summons, too, because I don't feel like just leaving like that. Um, let's see if there's anything on this banner I actually need. I mean, I do need this Vegeta right here. I definitely need that Vegeta right there, but everyone else is kind of garbage for me. Um, everyone else is pretty much duped out. I definitely don't want her. I have like 20 copies of her from that Android's banner and definitely don't want him. So we're going to go back to this banner right here and see what we can get from our guaranteed tickets. We actually have quite a few. Damn. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of them. Maybe I'll do like three. I'll do the three gold tickets, see where that gets us. And okay, here we can actually get a fusion. We can actually get a fusion here um, because there is the LR Piccolo in there, right? Oh, LR Piccolo and Tian and Chao too. So yeah, we got we got two LRs in this banner at the moment, I be I believe. I think so. All right, Tech Hit or not Tech Hit. I wish it was Tech Hit. AGL, yo, where is Tech Hit, Bandai? Where is Tech Hit? But anyways, AGL hit right there. Uh, definitely a dupe I could use. So I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. All right, random people flying in doesn't really matter. Uh, we know it's going to be a guaranteed SSR nonetheless. So. Let's see what we get here. Man, we ended this video without a single Android 8. A little bit upsetting. A little bit upsetting. Okay, uh, Int Goku. Not bad. I guess we'll uh, have to come back at some point. I mean, I guess next World Tournament is our next chance to pull Android 8, right? But at least we got the Tau. At the very least, we got the Tau, so I'm happy about that. We got three copies of Ox King, who, like I said, I wanted the most. And even though he's going to be only SA3, um, we don't need him for his attacking, right? We don't need him for his damage. He's going to do like 5 damage. Uh, we really want him for the tanking ability, which I think is going to be quite impressive. Uh, I don't remember what this guy does, actually. Uh, into Rainbow and recovers 5 HP. Does he... Oh, he also... Oh, he doesn't. Dokken Awaken right now. That's too bad. Alright. Um, should we do some more summons, guys? Should we do some more summons? Yo, this banner just pisses me off so much. And the sad thing is, I'm still tempted to do a summon right now. Like, I have 59 stones. I kind of want to just go like this and hit OK. But screw that. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. We're going to keep doing our ticket summons. We're going to keep doing our guaranteed... Nope, not this one. Keep doing our guaranteed uh, world tournament summons. Because that's guaranteed. And we can't get shafted for this one. So, 
I'm gonna keep doing this and uh, not just not allow myself to fall back into that trap, man. That 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 trap is so ah oh, man, it's still so effective on me. I just I got a problem. I didn't like check myself into I need to check myself into like rehab or something, man. I didn't check myself into gotcha game rehab. There's there should be a thing that that's like rehab for gotcha game addicts, and I'm definitely one of those people. <laughs> Okay, how is that not an animation? Yo, guys, if we're, we're if we're starting a petition for for them to, to change world tournament, we should also start a petition for them to make Gohan and Goku a guaranteed something animation. It really should be, or at least Goku, Gohan, and Goten. You know, hey, we got Cell. Perfect. Yeah, really, really good support right there. Actually, he uh, he's the one that's extreme types, right? Uh, yeah, extreme class allies keep plus two attack defense plus thirty percent, and also debuffing the uh, super class enemies. So yeah, really good support. All right, one more. Maybe I'll just do all of them. Might just do all of them. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I don't, I don't, I don't really know like what I want to do right now. Uh, we're just gonna go with the flow, you know? And whatever happens, happens, guys. Whatever happens, happens. Let me know in the comments down below uh, how your world tournament summons have gone. Uh, if you guys got the Android 8, the, t uh, the Tech Cyborg Tau, as well as the uh, Physical Ox King. And, ooh, we're getting combination right here. Nice. We're getting a featured unit, guys. Very exciting. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. Right, so is that, was that a Super Saiyan 1? Really? All right. All right. Uh, ooh, AGL final from Cooler. I think he actually might be duped out. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me check real quick. Just uh, super, super quick. Okay, so it's uh, AGL Extreme, and ooh, that is the last copy I need. That is the, oh, I have to reverse him. That's too bad. Okay, last copy I need though. Last copy I need. So he is gonna be rainbowed soon. Um, I mean, like whenever I decide to raise his super attack, I don't, I don't necessarily wanna give him any Kai's because I'm actually super, super short on Kai's. Which, uh, may maybe, maybe that means it's a good thing that I didn't pull any of the LRs I wanted, because I, I probably wouldn't have, had, have enough guys to even raise their super attack to 20, and that would have been really sad, right? So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing. It, it, it's a good thing that I didn't pull Gohan in 3,000 plus stones. Oh, we got an LR. Yo, we pulled the LR in this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to title this video, We Pulled an LR Now. We pulled an LR, question mark, exclamation mark. Nah, I probably won't do that. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Well, oh, back-to-back LRs? Yo, yo, let's make this a back-to-back -back LR pull right here, guys. We're gonna get Tien and Chaozu here. All right, we got the Piccolo. Let's get Tien and Chaozu. Make it back-to-back -back LR pulls, so I can put that as my title. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. We actually got back-to-back -back LR pulls. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's crazy. Yo, okay. That's probably gonna be my title now. I'm just saying. Yo, don't be mad, guys. It's it's legit. Yo, this is this is this is exactly what happened, man. We got LR Piccolo, then LR Tian and Chiaotzu. Back-to-back LR polls, man. There's literally no false information conveyed by this title right here. <laughs> Damn, dude. So imagine we got a third LR, um, third LR in a row. That'd be crazy. All right. Well, you know what? We're already this deep, so we're gonna do three more uh, singles here, and then that's gonna be the video. Then that's gonna be a video. Okay. Here we go. Three more guys. Can we make it another LR? Make it a triple LR video. Uh, it feels good actually to pull some LRs. I mean, unfortunately they suck. <laughs> unfortunately they're pretty freaking awful. But at the very least they're LRs, man. I don't even know how good this guy is um, right now. Does he have an awakening yet? Let me see, let me see. Uh, oh, he does. Okay, let's see what this is all about here. Uh, keep plus two attack plus 100% and defense plus 100%. Whoa, it's not bad. And high chance of stunning enemy. He's not bad, damn. Oh, this is the One Punch Man Goku, right? Not One Punch Man, the uh, One Inch Punch Goku. Okay, that's dope. Okay, I gotta work on him. Uh, obviously, I'll do that off camera. Not gonna like start grinding on video right here, but yo, we got some pretty good pulls, man. Pretty freaking good pulls. Two LRs in a row, man. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm out of things to say, and that's a good thing because we are about to end this video. Hopefully, hopefully, 
Didn't talk, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video today. We got Feet Kamehame Goku, Kamehame Ha Goku as our second last unit. And while this is going, let me just say real quick, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, guys, this is going to be our last unit pulled here. And we got another AGL cooler, so that's going to be a Kai for, for him now, since I don't really need any more dupes. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We got the Android. No, we didn't get the Android 8. We got the Cyborg Tau. We got a couple of copies of Ox King. I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, this banner gave us back-to-back -back LRs, which is pretty dope, even though they're bad. Like, really bad. Like, especially Piccolo. So bad. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Until next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.